Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory that's due unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rahab. Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who this world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham. Is in the name of Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shemel Shah. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in our truth and in sincerity. Shalom. It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shah. And the title of this video, Lord Buller, is going to be Our Enemies Will Be Miserable. That's backing up the scriptures, all right, and <clears throat> also from the gym as well as Palm Camp, you know. But our enemies will be miserable, man. All right, because in the state as as a as a as a nation and as a as a nation and whole right now, you know, we're we're at the bottom. You know, we're pretty much miserable. We gotta go to we gotta go to work every day, maybe a one or two days off. All right, it's a, it's a, always a, it's a hamster wheel. You know what the Lord said? These, the roles are going to reverse. Okay. So these nations, these heathen nations, starting with the, uh, the top heathen nation, being Esau, Edom, they're going to be in a miserable case. Okay. And this is all dust saith the Lord. Okay. So this is Baruch chapter four, verse starting at twenty four. It says, like as the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see surely your salvation from our power which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of, of the everlasting. You see, so our, the neighbors of Zion, these other nations, they, they are seeing, you know, us in captivity as we speak. You know, the so-called white man, the so-called Chinese man, the so-called African man. The so-called East Indian, all right. The the so-called uh, um, uh, Ishmael, not so-called Ishmael, but uh, I forgot what they call them in the world. Damn. Uh, East Indian, so-called East Indian, and uh, so-called Arab, Salakia. <laughs> you know the Ishmaelites, okay. <clears throat> the so-called Hawaiians, okay. These all these heathens, they see us. In our captivity, all right, but surely they're going to see our salvation, all right? The elect salvation, the elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to see the elect salvation shortly, all right? Because salvation is right around the corner. It says, My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. Okay, we have to suffer patiently, man, all right? Endure this suffering, endure this captivity. Okay, because the scripture says in, in uh, <clears throat> going up in the same chapter, <coughs> it says, You were sold, Baruch 4 and 6, you were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because ye moved the most out to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. Okay, so because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments, now we're in this, uh, under subject to our enemies. All right, but this is not going to last forever. Okay, we got to endure, uh, we got to endure the wrath that was put upon us. It says, for thy enemy, jumping back to verse 25, Baruch 4, 25, says, for thine enemy have persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. All right, and so surely we're going to see our enemy's destruction, man. All right, and we're going to tread on high above them. We're going to tread upon their necks, man. It says, my delicate ones have gone, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High. So the Lord most wants us to uh, to sigh and cry unto him. All right, that's why the scripture says, mark those that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Roughly paraphrasing Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, in the fourth verse, 
All right, so let me read that again. It says, be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. So the Lord wants us to cry out to him. All right, righteously complain unto Yahweh Shemiah to deliver us out of this captivity. And that's what the elect is doing. We do that, all right, through our prayers, all right, through our videos and going out to the highways and byways. We're crying unto the Lord, all right, to deliver us, man. It says, uh, verse 28, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so be in return, seek him ten times more. Okay, so we got to be going hard for you, Abba Shemiah Shah. All right, because he didn't have to. He didn't have to wake us up. You know, we could have been still in this world, calling ourselves black, calling on Jesus, thinking that the God, of, uh, thinking that the God of the Bible is a so-called white man. Okay, but the Lord found it, found favor in us to allow us to wake up to this. To this truth man which is a, a beautiful thing all right which is something to be not taken uh for lightly all right this truth is not a, a a combo meal okay this truth is precious more precious than fine gold more precious than rubies all right something that you can't purchase so more valuable than money all right verse 29 says for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. All right, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, he gave us the uh, the name Yerushalayim. All right, all right, city of peace. Okay, so <clears throat> he's going to comfort us. It says this is uh, verse thirty one. It says, "Miserable are they that afflict thee and rejoice at thy fall." Okay, because the Lord is going to flip the script, all right, uh, continual employment, all right, for the heathen nations. We're going to rule them with a rod of iron, all right, and to be quite frankly, we're going to beat the shit out of them, man, all right, every day, all right, tormenting, all right, on the Sabbath, all right, mental torment, okay, so every day they're going to be in a miserable case. All right. And they're already miserable now seeing the elites are already in a pitiful case now. All right. Because they're seeing the awakening of the elect. Okay. It says uh, in Revelation that fear came upon them. All right. When they saw us standing on our feet, roughly paraphrasing, man. Let me see if I can grab that. Uh, Revelation 11, uh, 11 and 11, it says, And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered unto them, into them, the elect, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. You see? So that three days and a half, 350 years, all right, when the spirit, uh, the Holy Spirit came upon us, all right, and that's uh that's roughly around 1969 you know or 1970 all right <coughs> 350 years you know after being here in uh in babylon man. all right in america and let me go back here to baruch baruch 4 and 31 says, Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. All right, and Babylon is going to be destroyed, man. Utterly destroyed, man. All right. Whithersoever the, uh, the children of Israel have served in captivity, all right, that city is going to be in a uh, in a in a pitiful case all right case in point egypt man did not we serve in egypt and, and egypt has never been the same since man all right has never recovered since the lord destroyed egypt man so how much more america man america is going to be utterly destroyed nobody's going to inhabit this place again all right 
it says verse 33 for as for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall so shall she be grieved for her own destruction for i will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude and her pride shall be turned into mourning for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure and she shall be inhabited of devils of devils for a great time all right speaking of babylon the great man all right going to be destroyed all right babylon the great is america all right it says that uh in revelation 18 Revelation 18 and verse and 2 it says and he cried mightily with a great voice saying Babylon the great is fallen is fallen and is become the habitation of devils devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird you see so that's the future of America man destruction all right why because <coughs> they had the lord's they had the lord's people in this place man all right and and treated us uh very badly man all right further the the uh they furthered the, the affliction all right they didn't try to comfort us tell us who we are all right they continue to this day all right, to keep us down low, to, to try to keep this heritage, our true heritage away from us. All right. And it says, verse 36, Baruch 4 and 36 says, O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away, they come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the word in the glory of the Most High. All right, so you got the elect coming together in these last days. All right, hearing this word of the Lord. All right, hearing the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And uh, from there, let me get uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25 and verse 7. It says, there be nine things which I judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. All right. You know, so it's going to be a joy to see the fall of our enemy. All right. The fall of Esau, Edom. Okay. Even within two thirds of our people, man. You know, yeah, yeah, there are people, but on this side, there are enemies, man. You know, but it's going to be a great joy to see the fall of Esau Edom. All right, no longer seeing Esau Edom on the billboards. All right, no longer working for him. Okay? That's going to be one of the greatest joys, you know, of the hopeful elect to see the fall of our enemy. And uh, from there, let me get. Wisdom of Solomon 15 and let me start at verse verse 13 it says it says for this man that of earthly matter maketh <coughs> British vessels vessels and graven images knoweth himself to offend above all others and all the enemies of thy people that hold them in subjection. Uh, let me see if I can start up a little bit more. All right, this is going to uh, those that make idol gods. Um, Uh, let me get a different one here. <clears throat> I was going into idol gods. <clears throat> All right. Because when you read that, let me just read it. 
uh, Wisdom of Solomon 15 and verse 14, it says, And all the enemies of thy people that hold them in subjection are most foolish and are more miserable than very babes. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods, which neither have the, the use of eyes to see, nor noses to breathe breath, nor ears to hear, nor fingers to handle, to, uh, for hands to handle, and as for their feet, they are slow to go. All right. So even you people that count these idol gods as as being gods, all right? Miserable are you? Uh, but let me let me get a, another one here. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon nine and thirteen says, "For what man is he that can know the counsel of the Most High, and who can think what the will of it, of the Lord is?" For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, and our devices <coughs> are but uncertain. Okay? See, the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, man. Okay? Because without Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, you're really, you're, really, uh, you're really miserable in this world. All right? And that goes for two-thirds of our people. All right? Because they are enemies on this side as well. Uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 17 it says, because thou says, I am rich and increased with goods and have no need of nothing. All right. No need of this truth. No need of Yahweh Hashem al Shai. It says, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. You see? So you're miserable without Yahweh Hashem al Shai. We was once miserable in this world. Smoking weed, getting paid, smoking weed, going out on the weekends. All right. Smashing uh, these harlots out here, man. All right, that gets old, man. Okay, because it's a temporary satisfaction, man. All right, but with this truth, it's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like an ongoing spiritual high, man. Okay, even though even though you may have it's balance, you know, you know you're gonna have your your you, you're gonna have your low points, okay, but. But we have the medicine, which is this word, man. Okay, and you people in this world, your medicine is uh is is carnal things, man. All right, but our medicine is this word, man. Okay, and it's free, free medicine, man. All right, to heal you. All right, to allow you to see this world for really, really is. It says in uh John. St. John 8 and 32. It says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Okay, so you're free in the spirit. You're no longer into in this bondage state of mind. Okay? Alright, seeking to please men. Alright, having no hope. Alright, thinking that you gotta live up to this Babylonian uh concept, man. To this Babylonian uh image. Okay? We're living uh, onto the image of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. All right, and the fact that you know we know that this world is temporary brings comfort as well, because these people they think that America is going to last as long as they live, man. You see, but America has it has a uh, what's the word? Um. America is on a uh, on is on a time limit, man. America has a limit, okay. America is not unlimited, man. It has a it has a time where it's appointed to be destroyed, man. And we're coming into that hour of its destruction. All right, we're coming into that last hour of Babylon standing, man. From there, let me get uh First Corinthians. First Corinthians fifteen. And I'm gonna start at verse sixteen. It says, For if the dead rise not, then is not a Mashiach raised? Raised. And if a Mashiach be not raised, your faith is vain, ye are yet in your sins. <coughs> then they also which are fallen asleep in a Mashiach are perished. If only it says, if in this life only we have hope in a Mashiach, in this life only we have hope in a Mashiach, we are all, 
we are of all men most miserable. Whew. And let me get that in the uh, NLT. First Corinthians 15. And 19, it says, and if our and if our hope in Hamashiach is only for this life, we are more to be pitied than anyone in the world. I'll read that again. It says, and if our hope in Hamashiach is only for this life, we are more to be pitied than anyone in the world. OK. So we we hope for the Lord to return and he is going to return, man. <coughs> All right. And and we're going to live eternal, man. It's uh, it says that again, it says, and if our hope in Amashiach is only for this life, we are more to be pitied than anyone in the world. All right, because a lot of people don't have faith, you know, really that Yahweh Shai right, is going to return, man. You know, imagine if, if Yahweh Shai didn't return, man. All right. Then we'll be miserable, man. Okay. But the fact that we're serving a true and a righteous power that doesn't lie. All right. We're not miserable, man. All right. Because we have hope in, 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 uh, in Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. We have hope in the Most High Yahweh that he's going to bring his son, Yahweh Shai, all right, to deliver us out of this miserable state. All right. Because it's miserable, man. All right. We're slaves. All right, you know we need new bodies. We we get we get ill, okay. There's a lot of promises that's coming <coughs> along with this new covenant. All right. By the way, we are not in the new covenant just yet. We're entering into the new covenant, but we're not in the new covenant yet. Revelation 21 and 4 says, "And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying." Neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. Neither any more pain, man. All right. Hey, speaking right now, I got a little slight headache, man. You know, no more pain in the kingdom of heaven, man. No more headaches, man. All right. But our enemies are still going to be in fleshly mortal bodies, man. Immortality is only given to the nation of Israel. The water Yahweh Shemel Shah. All right, new bodies is only for the nation of Israel. All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video was that a fine. I'm going to close with that and give all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. And to the next lesson, I say Shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom.